So I've had this Tesla Model Y for just about three years. In June, it'll be three years. And we've put just about 60,000 miles, just over 60,000 miles on this vehicle. I want to do a range trip because I want to show you with three years of usage on the battery, over three winter seasons that this car has been through, how we've been doing with our trips. So we've got a trip plugged in today on our destination. There is one supercharger stop. I did reset the trip meter so we could see what our total energy will be and our average energy utilization. It's going to be a short video, about eight minutes long, to cover the entire 214 miles. Let's get going. Did you see that? The car actually backed up just a little bit to get out of the intersection. No. So as we get started on this trip, we're gonna go through a few stats here. The outside air temp right now is 46 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about eight degrees above zero Celsius. Our speed is set at 70 miles an hour. We're gonna keep it there for most of the trip. Initial energy consumption, showing here over the last five miles. We did have, uh, during the acceleration to get on the highway here, uh, we did have a little bit of high utilization, but our average is going to settle in Looks like right around 350 to 400 watt hours per mile to start with, which isn't too bad. We are using full self-driving beta version 10.69.25.2, and that is the uh, old version. I'm still waiting for the FSD beta single stack update to be pushed out to this vehicle. We are now 60 miles into the trip, and I'm just gonna do a quick check in here to see how we've been doing. So the outside air temp has dropped to 42 degrees Fahrenheit. We've kept our speed right around 70. Currently we're at 72 miles an hour. And in terms of the energy consumption, we've used 28.5% of the battery. Notice on the energy app here, the green part of the graph, which is most of it, is actually showing us that our driving is, is using less energy than it initially predicted. So we are doing better than what the initial estimate was based on our departure information for the vehicle. And if we look at the consumption tab, uh, currently our average utilization for the last 30 miles is 279 watt hours per mile. So we are sub 300 in terms of average energy utilization. The projected range at this point is 161 miles. And remaining to the supercharger, we've got 95 miles. So showing that we will arrive at the supercharger with 24% state of charge remaining on the battery. And again, that's a little bit better than what we initially estimated. So we're gonna let the cameras roll just for a few more minutes here, and we will do another check-in arriving at the supercharger in Duluth. So here we are arriving at the Duluth Supercharger and we are going to charge here for about 25 minutes or so before we continue on to our destination. So just a quick check with the energy app to see what we've done. So over the last 100 miles or so, about 95 to 100 miles, uh, we've used 75% of the battery's energy. Uh, overall we could see on the energy app that our utilization has been better than predicted with climate actually conserving more than what we thought we would use but battery conditioning and the driving itself using a little more than what we anticipated in terms of in terms of our consumption the average energy utilization for the last 30 miles has been 321 watt hours per mile and we did have a little stop in superior just before we got here and plugged into a level two charger for about 20 minutes and got two kilowatts from that. So it did add a little bit back to the battery. We're arriving here at 25% state of charge. Otherwise we would have had about a 23% state of charge. And overall on this trip so far, we've driven a total distance of 160 miles, 49 kilowatts of energy used from the 75 kilowatt hour battery. 
and our average energy efficiency has been 308 watt hours per mile. We have about 90 miles to go left in this trip. We're going to stop here at the charger, top it off, and then get on our destination. All right, so the charge rate's pulled up. Looks like we're getting about 62 kilowatts or 244 miles per hour added. Uh, we're gonna be here for 40 minutes to continue the trip. I do have the charge limit set at 90%, but we'll probably leave just before that. And the reason that our charge rate's not going that great is because we've got a shared stall with uh, another uh, Tesla Model Y charging right next to us. This will be our final check-in before we arrive at the destination. So we're currently showing about 37 miles left in our trip and our energy so far for the last 30 miles we've been averaging 298 watt hours per mile and we've used a total of 31% uh, of the battery since we left the supercharger. Notice here on the screen that we're seeing all green that means that the driving and the trip so far has been better than what the car projected. Uh, when we left the supercharger in Duluth, it indicated that we would arrive at the destination with about 35% charge in the battery, and now we're showing about 37.5%. Climate has been better than projected. Uh, driving has just been a little bit worse than projected. And the only tip that it's showing right now is to stay below 70 miles an hour to get more range in this trip. However, uh, the speed limit here has dropped to 50 miles an hour, so we're currently just right around that for speed, so definitely no worries from that standpoint. Looking at the trip gauge that I've set, uh, we've gone a total of 223 miles so far in this trip. We've used 70 kilowatts from the battery, 70 kilowatt hours from the battery and the average energy utilization for the overall trip, the last 223 miles, is 312 watt hours per mile. So that's gonna do it for the last check-in. We will pop up one more time for the uh, final check-in at the destination and let you know how the trip did. All right, so here we are at our destination and uh, we'll just do our final check-in to let you know how we did. Trip was 253 miles total and we used 78 kilowatt hours of battery. Uh, the overall efficiency was 308 watt hours per mile. So that's all I've got for this week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.